My name's Claire Tarina. I just recently earned my BFA from the University of Memphis. I come from a family of artists. My mom was in ceramics, my sister in photography, and of course my dad painting and drawing and printmaking. I grew up in that environment, going to live drawing classes, looking at Goya and Velasquez since I was very young. I've done jobs off and on for the Brooks and the Dixon. I also worked for Art Impact for a while, painting murals and doing public, public arts. Long term, I hope to get my MFA, and I want to get my MFA in painting, but I would also be really interested in going into curatorial studies, even teaching at some point. Actually, being an artist was last on my list. You come from that, you sort of you know, want to deviate. I wanted to be a comedian or a musician or a veterinarian, like anything but that. I've always dealt with the figure in my work, and even now branching out into video and installation, it's still there. It's always been the work I've been attracted to. I tend to deal with like these heavier subjects, of religion, mortality, psychology. To make a psychologically strong work, I think that's one of the main tools you can do is use the figure. I mean, you, you have this, this person you're looking at, it's, it's someone invading your space. It's like, and sometimes, you know, I try to make them huge so, so that you, you have to pay attention to them. Whether their head, you know, is this big and they're making eye contact with you, there's, there's no ignoring that. But then I have this other side of the work that brings in this dark humor. And I was thinking of Caravaggio's painting, The Conversion of St. Paul, where he's fallen off his horse. But the painting itself is the conversion of St. Paul's horse. So the horse is actually on its back, like scratching itself in the grass. And I, so I really enjoy like putting, putting animals in these, these divine situations. When you do that, when you like, when you install other symbols into these very known accepted rituals, then it points out what they really are. It's difficult for me because I want I want these to be to be funny and witty pieces, but but not just that. There's a lot of dualities I think about, and sometimes I'm sitting there thinking, writing notes. I'm like, Eureka, I have it, and then it it, it could I think about it the next day, and it's like there's just these really obnoxious, silly things. Sometimes I have to like work through and like, well, this, why is this not art? And what makes this just like a one-liner? And so I sort of start with these really ridiculous ideas and then slowly, like I, w I want them to be funny and sarcastic, but I want them to also be like pretty sentimental and, and show human experience. I think the main challenge I've faced is, is, is trying to like figure out my audience, you know, using the macabre or, or violence and in my subject matter in painting, I realize it can put off like a certain people. But then so does any other decision in art. You know, if, if I made the sweetest paintings I possibly could, that would put off <laughs> a lot of people too. I want everyone to, to be able to look at it and I want it to affect, affect everyone in, in their own way. I want to make work that, that I think is universal, that everyone can respond to in some way, whether they laugh at it or like scoff at it or whatever. I mean, some reaction is, they're gonna have some reaction. Being in the arts, each day is different. I mean, a year ago, I had no idea that I would be making work like I am now. And it's gonna be different a year from now, without a doubt. I think that's what art is. It's just a new way of seeing, a different way of seeing. You're a different person after every piece you make. You learn so much. But to be an artist, I mean, you can't shut it off. It's, it's one of those things you go to bed thinking about, you wake up thinking about. It's a, a lifetime commitment. <laughs>